Alrighty, who and welcome to Nevis Gaming. Today we're starting off the episode with an explosion. Yes, setting everything up for the first recording and ah, creeper strikes once again. Sorry, Squish, I know that was your stuff. I'll put it back in the box. Ooh, what a way to start an episode! If you remember, in the last episode we bought this. What has hit me now? Oh, I'm trying. What is with these mobs today? Every time I'm trying to record, they just don't want to let me. Hmm. <laughs> It's going crazy. Ah, if you look behind me, if you remember in the last episode, we bought, uh, bought, we built our pottery, uh, potterier, potterier, I don't know, what you, what's, what's the word I'm looking for, where you make pottery in, anyway, uh, we built this to store all our pottery items that we are going to collect from all our archaeology exhibits, uh, I completely forgot I built that rail to our raid farm, but, uh, Yes, we built this uh, with inspiration. So if we look behind us, ah, we can see we started implementing the pathway as well. I saw this design. I cannot for the life of me remember where I saw it. Uh, but they use a smooth stone uh, for the like pathway. And then they use... I think it was where I got inspiration for this build. Uh, and they use pathway. If I can find where it is, I'll put the link in the description below. But I love the idea of it. And this gave me the idea of then, uh, you know, following it around, we'll have like little buildings going through this top bit, and then hopefully try and implement it on the bottom bit, bit there. <gasps> Woo! That was a lot to say. Very fast, so I hope you're all following me. While I was building this, these bees decided to stop on all these plants, and that gave me an idea. A greenhouse! And with greenhouses, comes bone meal and etc etc so i'm going to build a greenhouse next in this episode and you'll probably see it in the thumbnail so you've already probably saw it already but i'm going to build it um i'm quite decided i can't even decide whether it, i'm going to build it that side or this side um i'm probably going to build it no because we're going to have a yeah i'm not going to tell you what we're going to have over there because that'll spoil future episodes but I think we'll have the greenhouse over here. Over here. We're going to have a greenhouse over here next to the wall. Unlocking that. It should fit. Hopefully. We'll uh, mosey on in over here, I think. Because uh, we're going to have a tower built up there on the wall. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to fit the greenhouse in here. So, uh Let's get building it. Guess what, guys? We have built the greenhouse. Look at it in all its beauty. Yes, I did cut down a tree. And yes, that beehive is still there, which I plan on moving inside. But for now, it will have to do. But what's next? How about we take a look around? That's what is next. Let's go inside the greenhouse and check it out. Let's have a look at the outside first. Yeah, I've got two little arches here. with I've used white stained glass because i think this gives it a more a more like natural vibe where i used clear glass and you could not tell that there was even glass on it where this at least it does look like a greenhouse a little bit maybe the humidities you know made the water moisture on the glass go this color let's take a look inside shall we here we've got lots and lots of um, potting beds i'm gonna call them for our plants to go um i've got three high ones here here are and I'm going to put a three white high one here as well. Just because there's enough room at the top there to put some plants in. Where if we go down these sides, you can sort of see how the uh, roof sort of con uh, like slopes down. I didn't have enough room here to do that. But uh, that's fine. I've already started laying out some of the flowers already. We've got some uh, daisies there. Some, uh, In fact, we can plant you there. And we'll eat you. Lovely. We've got some berry bushes here. I'm going to put some more trees on this section here. More flowers are going to get installed as well. Maybe, maybe we should have one of every flower. I haven't quite decided yet. Moving through here then. Where are we? To this little area here, which is more of an outdoor area. I will be storing a certain animal in here, which is called a sniffer. Yeah, this spot is going to be for him. I feel like he fits in him well here and we'll be able to get the uh, flowers from him behind this lovely it's like a trellis i like the way that these look like drawers and trellises as well 
you know, I've utilized them on here as on the outside, you know, just to break it up a little bit. I do like, oh, just look at that bottom falling as well. Slight distraction there. But if we open it, look, we've got a crafting table behind there and we've got room for storage behind all of these fantastical items. Another lead because, uh, you know, tr wandering traders like to spawn. And that goes all the way up there leaving that one at the top and there's a bit of air as well for things to get edited out lovely bloody jubbly right i need to stock this place and then we'll move on to the second part of our plan of action and as if by magic we have filled the greenhouse up with all sorts of flowery goodness from berries to little trees ah oh, to even more flowers and rare flowers let's have a cheeky little look inside what we've got my idea is to have all the tree saplings along the bottom growing here with a few berries you know got a, they uh, resemble like tomato plants to me uh on top we're sticking the flowers up there so we can have all the different types of colors wait if i got the same flowers no they're lilies of the valley up there we've got the two high flowers uh because there's enough room for them to fit on the roof there some uh, poppies, some tulips. I know you can get multicolored uh, ones of tulips, but we'll collect them later. Mm -hmm. And we've got this lovely flower here. Uh-oh, I hit the wrong one. Which is called the Blue Orchid. I absolutely love this flower because it produces a very, very nice blue, which I like to use in a lot of my builds. And now I can't... There we go. Perfect. Uh, that is that. But... We're not just stopping the episode here because we built one greenhouse, no. How are we meant to use this greenhouse for all the dyes we want? Well, let's head over to the industrial district. So, over in our industrial district, we have this lovely flat plateau here. Now, what could go here? Hmm, what could go here? Comment down below now. Well, a little hint, we need this much water. Well, remember in our previous season we built the seed maker and everything, but we never really put it to use. No, we never really got any um, bone meal and everything like that out of it. Well, this season I'm going to utilize it for a lot of things and because like, we'll need a lot of dyes, a lot of color, everything like that. So that's what's going to be going here. We're going to have an automatic bone meal farm, seed maker, flower maker, all that good stuff in this plateau. Woo! Right. I better get to building it. And there's the first part done. Now for the next one. And that's the second part made. Next to the first part. The first part hasn't got any more uh, bone meal in it, hence why. And in approximately five, four, three, two, one, it should now dispense some water. Nope. I got those timings wrong then, didn't I? Right. When's it gonna dispense? When's it gonna dispense? There we go. And all the goodies get pushed along here. Fantastic. There's no more bone meal. Ah, I forgot to put the water in the front. And with that, the last pod is now complete. So if we put our bone meal in here, they get all that in there. That can go in there, like so, and we'll climb up for a better view. Oh, I need to switch the machine on. There's no bone meal in any of these yet. I still have. I still need to automate the bone meal as such. But if we go over here, oh wow, that is producing a lot. There we go. There is a slight lag, obviously, with us being in the server. I don't think I'd run this with more than, like, two people maybe on the server. But now we've just got to wait for all these to shake, shimmy and shake away. And then once that's done, they should all float into the chest. I'm hoping. I remember the water. <laughs> I remember the water this time, so which is a lot better. Uh, three, two... One, show me the water. No, I did. I I can never judge the timing on this. Where's the water? There's no more bone meal. Come on, show me the water before everything despawns. Let's go. There we go. Ah, I didn't put the redstone line in. Let's try this one more time, shall we? Yeah, let's get the bone meal in there. There's only twenty one this time. This is exactly the stuff that we got from. Well, what was produced in there. So uh, now we'll go into turn the machine on. 
We'll quickly run over here. Climb to the top. Look at all that. Lovely production there of all the crimson wards. <gasps> We've not crimson what what's it called? Crimson stems? Something like that. Anyhow. All that is anyway gonna get pushed off, hopefully, if I have done this right. Last time it took about 30 seconds, so uh, there we go. And then it goes off. All gets collected. Oh. A little bit stuck there. Might have to put another hopper in there. But other than that, it looks fun dabby dozy. Right. I'm going to go hop onto... The, I'm going to end the video here. But I'm going to be streaming of how I'm going to utilize. Put this all together. Put a automatic sorting system in play. Uh, going into bone meal and then feeding it back into the systems is all going to be absolutely magical so if you want to check me out go check me out on twitch nevs gaming 101 so i'm gonna but i'm gonna end the episode there i've been nevs gaming you beautiful people have been amazing i'll leave the link to the tutorial for this down below toodaloo and i'll see all you beautiful people in a few good bye